Good morning. It's just turned four o'clock. <laughs> and it's Thursday the 27th of June 2019. Hashtag Curry Thursday and hashtag MB11. Hereford and Ludlow. There's a tap takeover in the Hereford Beer House today after the harvest, which is actually Johnny. And it's the start, it's the start of a little mini heat wave. Although it's pleasantly cool at the moment and clear. I'm looking forward to it, really am. Back to the King's Fee. Nice bit of carpet for Mr. Manning. It's just gone nine o'clock, so on your left, the remnants of Pexy Max. On the right, come to England, drink Welsh. Big Porth Maddog, actually. This is Dark Side of the Moose by Purple Moose Brewery, 4.6% alcohol by volume. There's either a Brecon Brewing, so we do like a little bit of Purple Moose. Malty, nicely bittered, roasty, nice finish, B plus in a bit. And why not? Now here's the thing, it is Curry Thursday but they have a mixed grill on sale for $5.99. I know, I want them both but I'll mull it over. So, manager's special, mixed grill for $5.99, side over the barges because it's curry Thursday, and a pint of pack. Probably more expensive than just a curry, it is. However, MB11 and B knowing. It's warming up and it's top takeover time. This is the Hereford Beer House. And we're off. Number one, after the harvest, young colleague over there. And legendary lanes, pale ale focus in alcohol by volume. And it's somewhere outside. That's rather nice. Traditional, malty, gently bitter. Nicely balanced, B plus in the bed. On a, on a very hot day like today, well, hot for here anyway. I'm drinking the Pilsner Mars Brow from Bamberg in Germany and it's 5% alcohol by volume. Ah, very clean. Johnny recommends it. And it's going to be very hard to get hold of. There's Johnny getting vitamin D. Ooh, yes, it has that. Bavarian malt taste? Well, nose actually. Well, that's nice. It's malty, but it has a sort of um, bubblegum, yeasty sort of taste. That's B plus in a bit. Number three Coffee Stout. I was going to say also from After the Harvest and Let Me Relays, but that was number one. Anyway, 4% alcohol by volume. Four for Mr. Manning. Mmm, tons of coffee. Into vanilla. Really nice, B plus in a bit. <coughs> Nice bit of finish. I like it. 
on your bit glasses, Tony Rebel. This is a bit amber with rye malt and it's rather malty, very malty. Um, sorry, after the harvest and lead be relayed as part of the tap takeover, 5% alcohol by volume. Still somewhere outside. Yeah. Mm. That's B plus in a bit. Mm, quite a multi sweet, slightly bubble gummy finish. Still cold up, still from Lepi Wheel Ales and after the harbour. Harbour, harvest. <laughs> this is the golden ale, five percent alcohol by volume of citrus. Yeah. 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 So we, after the harbour, it can be. Mm. Mm. Sharp, little lemony. Well, that's my lot, all six beers, finishing with Lurvig, Ravagna in Norway, and Lost from Burundi from Bristol. The edge of the quick fix, 6.2% alcohol by volume. Dry hot sour. I like sours. Mmm. Coffee aroma. Mmm. Fruity and sour. And because I love sours, that's a sour tart. Fruity B plus plus. Mm. 